Meet America's newest superhero, David Speed, Super Fuzz. He's a whiz in the pool hall, a marvel in the parking lot, and one of the best bullet catchers in the business. Meet Super Fuzz, the craziest cop this side of Inspector Clouseau. Super Fuzz, a blockbusting, high flying, water walking, smooth talking, fleet footed, skydiving, hard driving, crime fighting, all American hero. Super Fuzz. Just for the fun of it. See now, I want to welcome everybody. I want to welcome you, 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 you. I want to welcome all of you guys to RBT Rashid Video Tube. This is just from Arm JC, Rashid's Music Jukebox Center. And of course, I am Rashid the R Man, coming on live on social media, Google, YouTube, and other social media platforms. Glad you guys are here. Sit back, relax. You know the drill. Sit back and let me entertain you. I am Captain Cupcake. What makes Hostess Cupcake such fun? First, you like the fudgy icing up. Then you eat up all the devil food cake. And so much you got left over is a gushy, squishy, creamy middle that you can squash with your tongue. Mm. Hostess Cupcakes, Fruit Pies, and Twinkies Cakes. Fresh snacks for the snack in the middle. A double pleasure's waiting for you. A double pleasure, a double discount. A double great feeling. In a really, really, really spiritual mood, I am. I'm in a really spiritual mood, guys. I'm creating this spiritual network. And practically, it's done. Yeah, we just need shows to go on it now. Um, just in time for Shaisa. I guess that's the thing that's really freaking us out, that it's just in time for Shaisa. You know, Shaisa just getting started. And uh, here we are with this spiritual network. It's going to get launched on RVT. And I'm excited about it, man. Now we got a spiritual network. Now we have spiritual shows, you know. I'm, I'm really, uh, we, we are. We are standing. So how you guys doing, man? Yeah, um, again, I haven't been, um... I haven't been uh, checking on that news thing because I don't like what's going on over there. I don't like what's going on over there, so I don't know. Yeah, we don't know what's happening over there with that uh, coronavirus. I can't tell you nothing. Oh, we got an update yesterday, and it's still the same. I mean, there's nothing going I mean, they're saying it's going down, but... The cat. I mean, it's not. It's like you can you can say it, but nothing's happening. You know, it's the same thing. Um, we're gonna need a vaccine for that. It's that simple. Cause as far as it going away, almost impossible. <clears throat> and they covering. They were covering only uh, American situation. They ain't covering the rest of the world. You know, this shit started from another country, continent. China. So I don't give a fuck about how, what it's saying in America. I mean, changing whatever. 
is still in the world. So if it started from China and we got fucked up, what makes you think that just because America's numbers change, and if it's somewhere in the world we got a problem, it's that parent, it's that simple. So we're going to need a vaccine. And that's all I'm going to tell you guys about that because that's all the truth is about that. And I'm going to come in and uh, beat around the bush and, and stuff like that. I'm not going to do it. Still promoting Linda Lease. Nothing really changed. Yeah, nothing really changing really around uh, anywhere for that matter. We don't have no real change in it. Everything is the same. And I guess um, that's not a bad thing if, that's, if you like that, that kind of thing. R V yes, I'm gonna say R V T change. But y'all didn't see it yet. Y'all will see it though. Um, for the better. Meaning nothing's gonna nothing went down and all we just went up. Y'all see that later on, how it's for the better. I took a day off yesterday. I was gonna take a day off today, but since it's the weekend and all, I mean, god damn. I mean I really need I really need it. A day off working on this Linda Lease. So we've been at it since 4 o'clock in the morning, over to like 4 in the afternoon with her. And uh, we need an emergency day off. I mean, emergency day off. And that's what we did. We took emergency day off. And uh, well needed. Got a lot of rest. You know, this, that, and all. Not bad. Went out. Went out to the store. To see what was going on, and uh, it don't look too good out there. I mean, it, it looks, you know, a lot of anger with the black community. A lot of anger with them. Um, people of color, period. Um, it's a lot of anger with them, but um, there's no anger with white, and they the ones that did everything. They the ones that started all this shit by killing that guy. But there's no anger with them. It's just anger with the blacks. You know what I mean? All bullshit. And uh, these things affect. And these here last days. Yeah, nobody angry with white people. Nobody. Everybody angry with black people. And white people started it all. Not people, but a white person started it all. So. But you see no anger towards no white people. Only black people. So, uh, that kind of shit is going on, and you can't really, uh, put your finger on it, people thinking they're going to change shit, things changing every day, things changing every day, so, uh, who knows what's going to happen because of that bullshit, I don't know, but I'm not following it, I don't care about it. And I don't want to look at it because it's all bullshit. I don't want to look at that Rodney King bullshit. So go somewhere else with it because I don't got nothing to say about it. That's just where I go down, guys. I don't mess with that. We're spiritual people around here, and we have a goal, and we're on a crack road around here, and all of that worldly thinking belongs someplace else. doesn't belong here.
You understand. Man, I'm glad uh, this spiritual thing is on 24 hours, seven days a week. I mean, this, this is this is it. This is what social media need. I swear. The only thing is, is what I'm creating on my spiritual channel. I think is missing from this, and that means more variety. Yeah. There's more variety of content. Because I believe that spirituality isn't serious. It, is, it isn't all that serious that everybody make it out to be. Meaning, so while I'm attacking this on the, on the Rashid Almanac, and when I do the Rashid Almanac, that's when I'll tackle it. It's my opinion about it. How religions just mock after the white uh, culture. Decent, proper, you know, everything serious. Just because the white culture is that way, that doesn't mean religion got to be. I mean, like, you marketing after white culture. But that's just my opinion. Um, to my seriousness. But it's still good that it's on 24 hours, 7 days a week. Because we didn't have it, then, you know. We didn't have it, we wouldn't have shit. But I just think some little changes could be done. So I'll create my own. And um, this will put an end to all of that. It's just how I perceive uh, spirituality. And I hope you guys can come around and view it. Who knows? It might be like Linda Lace in the, in the um, yeah, it might be like Linda Lace in the Almanac. People just don't want to deal with it. Okay, Rashid just posted his, um, his, uh, RSN, Rashid's Spiritual Network. Okay, I don't want to look at that. Like, they're going to do Linda Lace. They're going to see Linda Lace. Okay, I don't want to look at that. You know. This is all part of what the change our routine made of we just doing things to interest ourselves from now on. Because we believe the world changed, so there's no need for us to carry on. You know, trying to impress, trying to keep up, trying to be like, you know, this bullshit. It's a waste of time now. Because everything's screwed up and it's over with. Basically, it's over with. No matter what you say, guys, it's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. I don't even think the shit could be saved. Yeah, we too far in. I don't even think it could be saved. Give me honest work and honest pay Honest sweat from honest play And when I'm through, that's when I'll say I want my clean as real as I breathe It's gotta be 99.44 I want my clean as real as I breathe Nothing less, nothing more If you're looking for the real clean you can only get from a pure soap You want ivory It's gotta be pure, that's for sure I want my clean as real as I breathe Had a nice, nice day. I, I didn't. Well, the thing is, I didn't do anything. We didn't. We didn't. We. I mean, just all I did was eat and sleep all yesterday. That's all I fucking did. I didn't do nothing but eat and sleep. 
and it was well needed, you know. And I still didn't work. Putting together a network isn't really worth it, you know. So, I've been, uh, let's get up some fun shit. How about that? I've been uh, taking it easy, man. I've been taking it easy. Not doing a lot of stuff. Just relaxing and taking it easy, man. Let's get up some something fun to listen to here. Because around here is always normal life around here. The world trying to pull you in so many directions like you're serious and sadness and all of that shit. We ain't got time for that around here. Like I said, life ain't that serious. Life ain't that serious to be walking around like you got something up your ass. You know. I know it's a lot of things going on. You know, like um the unemployment thing. People hungry right now. There's a lot of things going on right now. Yeah. And that's and that's um trials and tribulations, you know. It sucks. I was homeless on the street. We was. We was homeless on the street. I was. I was sleeping in the park. I was sleeping in back of uh, buildings that were clean. I was sleeping in shopping centers. I panhandled. I did all of that. It's just a period they're going through. Because I knew that it was a period we were going through. Yeah, we knew it. So, I know a lot of people um, are going through a lot right now. It's just a situation. Um, like the Bible says, hard times befall us all. There's no way to speak it. Who knows what the night going to be and tomorrow's going to be, you know. It could be anything for anybody. Like the um, Bob Dylan song said, who knows what the name is named, you know. Who knows what the will... Who name is going to be called? Who knows? <laughs> Nothing like television, you know? The RVT around here, we specialize in network, you know? We love some network around here, I swear! Damn it! Hey, Gus, you special enough to skate with us? I'm an all-star skater. There's nobody greater. I score every game, but bit of pepper's my thing. All right! We're number two! It's all right to be dynamite, but to be a pepper is out of sight. Would you like to be a pepper too? We're a pepper, he's a pepper. Yeah, I'm a pepper too. I'm a pepper too. If you drink Dr. Pepper, you're a pepper too. Be a pepper, train Dr. Pepper. Be a pepper, train Dr. Pepper. Double pleasure is waiting for you. Double pleasure, double biscuit. A double great feeling, making you realize double is the one for you. Double fresh, double smooth, double delicious to chew. A double pleasure is waiting for you. Double.
Love some networking. What would the world be without networking? For Christ's sake. God. Need it. Need it. Social media. Thank God for social media. Glorious day. And the complete breakfast with Booberry. Huh? Into the waves, Boo. Bye bye. <laughs> Frankenberry has strawberry flavored sweeties. Count Chocula has chocolate sweeties. <laughs> and Booberry with blueberry flavored sweeties. <laughs> and here are the mini monsters. Five monsters in all. You can trade them with friends and put on a show. One mini monster in specially marked boxes of the monster cereals. We have, we have a voice with social media. Otherwise, we wouldn't have no voice. People like me, anyway. Appreciate you guys coming by and listening. I'm going to take this bacon. I think I want some pork bacon here. I think that's what we're going to go with. Yeah. I'm going to take it out the freezer. You stay put. I'm... I'll be back, guys. Let me take this bacon out the freezer. I think that's what I'm going to go with. Ah, this is in the mood. In the mood! Beat the heat! Beat the heat with a fan or air conditioner from Crazy Eddie. Get the guaranteed lowest sale prices anywhere on electric fans and air conditioners. It's going to be a long, hot summer, and the prices of electric fans and air conditioners are going to go up, up, up with the temperature. So get an electric fan or air conditioner on sale from Crazy Eddie now. Shop around. Get the lowest sale prices you can find. Then go to Crazy Eddie and he'll beat them. So be cool and beat the heat. See Crazy Eddie now. His prices are insane. For quality meat, deliver to your door. Chef's choice. The freezer pleaser. Great service for years now. It's old fashioned, butcher shop service. But right over the phone. We save time. And money. Phone ordering, quick delivery, it's very convenient. Fresh, top quality meats every time. They're great. Open an account right now and get an additional 50 piece steak and shrimp supply free. Call 1 800 772 beef. It's wall-to-wall -wall sound and videos, everything's on sale sale, celebrating our 26th anniversary. You'll save on the purchases of TVs, VCRs, CD players, records, tapes, and CDs, everything. And you may be the lucky winner of this 1988 Dodge Daytona. Our 26th anniversary is really something. In fact, it's everything.
that's another great idea from Cortina. Buy a medium pizza and get a small order of wings free. Or buy a large pizza and get a large order of wings free. This deal with appeal is good whether you want to eat right at Cortina, take the great taste home, or have your order delivered right to you. Cortina's pizza with pizzazz and their meaty wings are the ultimate fun foods for parties, get-togethers, and everyday meals. So enjoy them now. Cortina 2215 Algonquin. If you haven't been there lately, you're missing the action. Anytime pop touch pop up, people pop up. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 pop. People pop up with Kellogg's pop tarts. Pop up here and there. Pop up everywhere. They pop up with warm, frosty pop tarts. Pop up with strawberry, blueberry, raspberry, cherry, brown oh, sugar, oh, celery, oh, chocolate fudge, and a yes, Kellogg's makes all these pop tarts taste. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 pop. People pop up with Kellogg's pop tarts. Pop, pop. When you're searching for something for your little girls or boys And you're finding high prices but not finding toys And you're sad and you're blue and you're tired of running around let Lionel Pity Pity turn that frown upside down, upside down. We got the left from side down too. Lionel Pity Pity makes it easy for you. Their prices and selection are among the best around. Let Lionel Pity Pity turn that frown upside down. I know, y'all know, um, my subscribers, Babashi B. Y'all know I care about y'all. You know I care about y'all. I really, really care. Y'all everything to me. My subscribers, y'all everything to me. Y'all my Rashi Katiris. And, uh... I want you to know that I know there's a lot of shit going on. I know there's a lot of things going on in there. And you may feel like we have no hope. We have no kind of opening. No kind of... Just know that I care about you. And no matter where you are, when you think about me, I care about you. I just feel as though that's so important for me to tell you guys. I really care about y'all. And sometimes knowing that will ease it will ease the yeah, the tension and the hardships you might be going through. Just understand it that I really care about you guys. So just don't forget that. Because I think about y'all. I really think about y'all. Uh, more times than y'all know. You know, when you really think about it, we all we can, you know? These guys, shit is fucking up bad. You know? And that pop culture stuff. I mean, it's fucking up real bad. And it's sad to look at it, but we're seeing a decline as you notice RBT is going on. We're seeing it as a decline. And y'all might feel some effects from it. And that makes me upset. That y'all feel some effects from it. But at the same time, y'all not part of it. And it's like there's no fear and shit, you know. Because they the ones doing it to themselves. So it's just not care about you. And when the time comes, who knows what's going to happen later on. You see what I mean? 
Because I got plans. I have plans. So, I want y'all to know that, you know, who knows what's going to happen. With Rashid, anything is possible. Right, baby, you know that. With Rashid, anything is possible. So, who knows what's going to happen, guys. So, just hang in there. I don't know, you know, who's my real friends, who's my fake friends. I don't know. And on social media, it's almost impossible to really peg out who's really a friend or not. You know, it's really impossible to do that. But just know I care about you guys. I'm not going to say I love you. Like a lot of people are doing it because I, I don't know you guys. And I, I feel as though I'm lying. To other people, there's different types of love. Maybe they have that love towards y'all so they can say that. I can't. Because I'm just a different guy. Uh, and I go by and I'm really strict. I'm really, really strict. So I watch what I say. So I don't, I'm don't. i not going to say I love you because I don't know you. But I will say I care about you guys. And I really mean that. I'm not going to go to love thing. Maybe later on, like I see, I can say I love you. But right now, I just can't. I don't know you. No offense. And, you know, all of, and y'all, my secret kids know what I'm talking about. Because we're going to really have some fun. I got some great things in store for us. Great things. Kentucky Fried Chicken sound goes so good right now, don't it? Well, you almost suck. You almost will suck a dick for a piece of Kentucky Fried Chicken right now, too. I swear to God, man. Don't mean to be fucking crazy. Yeah, baby. You know what I'm saying? God damn. Crispy, spicy right now. A breast. Oh, Lord have mercy. I don't understand people like Popeyes. I don't understand that one. I don't get that shit. You're going to actually turn up Kentucky Fried Chicken special recipe for Popeye. Popeye's don't have no, they don't have, they, they don't have no flavor with, they just regular fried chicken. I don't understand it. I don't, I don't get that one, but that's what, I ain't down in Popeye's now. It's just compared to KFC, get the fuck out of here, you know. So I'm still working on Linda Lee. Taking my time on her big time. Just yesterday I took a break. Did y'all remember what y'all heard when I let y'all hear Linda Lee? Y'all remember that? Oh, she a crazy chick, man. She a crazy chick. of VCR from Pepsi and Acme. Register at the Pepsi display of your local Acme. One VCR prize at each store. Yeah. We wanted to come on the air. We wasn't going to come up while uh, put on that today. We really wasn't. But I was like, we got to have something to look at tonight. It's Friday. Put on something that's really funny, funny. Eye candy, Rashi eye candy. So I decided to come on and put on some eye candy for us to look at. Why the hell not?
it wouldn't hurt, you know. Quality meat delivered to your door. Chef's choice, the freezer pleaser. Great service for years now. It's old fashioned butcher shop service. But right over the phone. We save time. And money. Phone ordering, quick delivery. It's very convenient. Fresh, top quality meats every time. They're great. Open an account right now and get an additional 50 piece steak and shrimp supply free. Call 1 800 772 B. Lots of people think that's really weird. Get your Rock and Robin's Diamonds and we'll rock, rock, rock tonight. Rock your Robin's, Rock your Robin's Diamonds. A cut above the rest. I was going to do this documentary. And I got all ready for it. And I couldn't get the footage. So we just trashed the whole goddamn thing. Couldn't get the footage. I couldn't believe that. But the documentary was about about this guy. Uh, he's up in age. He's a senior, and he said that not only did he had contact with extraterrestrials, but he was fucking one. He was like in a relationship with one. And he did serious. And what he does, he paints, he painted his whole experience on canvas. And he has different pictures to back it up. So we had all of these uh, weird pictures of him being abducted. And it was just the damnest, weirdest thing you ever seen. So I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a documentary about this guy. I want to talk about this guy. It's called Love and Sorcerers. And the thing is, the name got me captivated. The name itself got me interested. Love and Sorcerers. I, you know, when you look at it that way, Love and Sorcerers, I found it interesting. That right there pulled me to it. Because I never looked at UFOs like that before. I never did. So, okay, love and sorcerers. So you got the guy, he's up in there, he paints. He painted his whole experience on canvas. And the way the poster was, it looks like a movie. And he said he's writing a Hollywood script. He's actually writing a Hollywood script. To see can he sell. To see can he sell it. He talks about it, how he's constantly fucking. Oh, he was having intercourse. It ain't funny, so he's fucking his alien girl. Then he winds up doing other things with aliens, you know, sexual. And uh, he puts it in a way where it, it's very. Uh, he puts it in a way where it's a, it, he leaves you to be the, the judge, meaning he's, he doesn't try to manipulate you or opinionize to the issue to the fact where you got to force to believe him. He, the whole thing is geared towards your own perception of the incident. So you can't help but be captivated by the story. So me, so yeah, so me and my people, we were sitting up there watching it. And I said, I'm going to do a documentary about this guy. You know, I'm going to do a documentary about this guy. This guy is a trip here. He, you know, but the thing that got me, that gets me about that, on a personal note, is why... So many people is an inanimate, inanimate or whatever. 
Or whatever that was. I think I said it. An anime with fucking UFOs. But they never talk about fucking demons. Spiritual creatures. They never talk you the holy ever. When it comes to fucking a demon or a ghost, violence, like the entity always come into place. But you see how the personality, that's how it's kind of hard to believe in any of this shit. Because you see personalities in both. You see personalities in space creatures. Then you turn around and see personalities in invisible creatures like demons and ghosts. Demons and ghosts has a has a has a personality of being violent. When you get to UFOs, they some of their stories are violent. Don't get me wrong, but for the most, the whole thing is not violent. It's not violent. Then you get to some demons and ghost stories. Who, oh, she's a friendly ghost and she doesn't do anything in a cafe but move chairs around so it's like a little of both and both of them but for the most the most part yeah the overall picture demons and ghosts are violent UFOs are not violent they can fuck UFOs they take samples of eggs and sperm and all that shit uh, but when it comes to uh, ghosts and demons they don't take example, examples of sperm and shit like that. You would think that the ghosts and demons were. Rather than the UFOs. I mean, you understand why UFOs. Are. And another thing, they make UFOs to be intelligent like scientists. They are scientists. For instance, I'll give you an example. They say the UFOs came to Earth and this, that, and this, and that. And they, a lot of people say this. Oh, well, we saw one for Christ's sake. But what about do they have a family? Do they have a, a children? Is it baby UFOs? Like where they come from? Is it like Earth? Like is it like Earth? I mean, do they have? It's like they all sciences. That's all they do all day: is study, 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 examine, 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 examine. I mean, that's the way, I mean, every fucking UFO story do, basically. Unless you go to that E.T. shit, that Steven Spielberg shit, Mac and me and all that bullshit. But I'm talking seriously, it's like, that's all they do is experiment, experiment, experiment and shit. And when you look at demons and ghosts, it's not an experiment. It's just being a fucking asshole throwing away open like my kids say. Why did no why would a demon just open a camera? For what reason? I mean it's so stupid. Like uh, okay, it's a hidden camera, then you see the drawer open up. Then you see it's like okay, stop right there. It, yeah, because y'all right when y'all see that shit. Then stop right there. Like why would a demon do that? For what? For what? Then knock down a curtain. Why would a demon do I mean, it's like a big child. The ghosts and demons are like big children. Now, why would a demon just throw something on the floor like that? You know, when it comes to UFOs and all, they're too intelligent to do that. You won't see that in them. UFOs just come and abduct you or stare at you or, you know, it's just like all of them, it's the same way. It's like they're categorized in some kind of cookie cutter to be a certain way. And, then, and because of that, you doubt the story and say this is all bullshit. All of it is bullshit. Because if if he always see if you when you look at humans humans are all kind of motherfucking shit. You know. All some we scientists, we assholes, we junkies, we alcoholics, we we jokers, we laughers, you name it. But for these guys, they, they the media the the whole industry puts them out to be a certain way. Only. That's why you can call it bullshit. You see what I'm saying? There's no such thing as a friendly demon. There's no such thing as like E.T. Instead of E.T. being an um, extraterrestrial, an alien. What about E.T. was a ghost or in, like Poltergeist? What if Poltergeist movie, now listen to this shit. What if the Poltergeist movie, what if that ghost was really friendly like cast for the friendly ghost? Why not make a movie like that? 
You see the point? They always bang. But when you, you can do an alien that way. So you can see man's manipulation in it. So how can you believe any of it? You see what I'm saying? And he's fucking this alien. Girl. And he falls in love with her at 16 years old. He falls in love with her. I'm not sure you do. He falls in love with the bitch at, at 16 years old. So I said, I'm going to do a documentary about this. And um, I couldn't get the footage. So we scrapped it. I said, well, fuck the documentary. There's no way for me to get the footage. So I can't. Because I thought that his... his um. His situation was sort of unique. It was different. So I said, okay. This guy ain't that bad. Let me see if I can get some footage from this guy. What do we have here? Yeah. And I was kind of upset. That we couldn't. Because I was all, you know how you get your mouth water for something. And like, oh, you can't do it. It's like, oh man, that sucks. It's supposed to be public uh, domain. So I don't know why we couldn't get the footage. I really don't understand it. It's freaking on me. It don't make sense. If it's public domain, you know. Well, that's just the way they have things. UFOs are violent. UFOs are nice. They can be violent off and on. They can be. But demons and ghosts automatically bad. Automatically, they're bad. They throw. Th- I mean, it's like they'll move. They'll do something. And my and my kid will say, Dad, now why would a demon do that? It don't make sense. Why would they just move something like that? And are they scared of people? Are they scared of people? Why do they do it when yeah, nobody's around? Exactly, that's what I mean. Nobody's around. There's only certain times. <laughs> There's only certain times that they do this shit. You know. And I always tease... Now, y'all know about this. I always tease my, my head and say... What if in the middle of all the hoopla and shit, somebody said, let me call the police down here and look at this. You never think about I mean, in the middle of all the bullshit now, somebody just say, let me call the police and let them come look at this and see what they think about it. It don't even make sense. It's like, it don't even, it don't even like, you can see them running away or some shit, like, hiding. No, please don't do that. We don't want we don't want the the public to know about us. And most important, most important, most important. Why do they only show themselves the light skin straight hair people? <laughs> That's most important. That's the number one. There's both of the motherfuckers. This, the demons, aliens, it's just demons, ghosts, and aliens. Only the white people that look white. They're not white, but they could be. No, they're like, because it's Jews, it's Italians, like this thing. Like, why you don't see no urban people, no brown skin people ever saying anything of the sort of demons or ghosts or anything? Why is always licensed straight here people? I don't understand it. It's like they're they say, Well, we ain't gonna waste our time showing us something no brown here person. Maybe they think, why would we do a dumb thing like that? They don't know nothing. What the fuck? That's some insult man shit. But it's it's always people that look white to these demons, ghosts or whatever, show themselves to. It's never like an urban person. It's never. I'm doing. When I say never, I mean never. Like a you can you know like an urban person. Like then he took me. To, you know that's now I'm getting sick to the stomach. No offense, but I'm getting. I don't want to talk like that. But 
an urban people, an urban person saying, "Oh, he, uh, I saw this flying saucer and I got something in my head." You always see like some serious people talking this shit. Or oh, I got the ghosts in my attic, and they moving chairs around, and it's a, it's a, it's a, um, it's a, it's a certain kind of, it's a certain kind of race. This talk, like an aborigines or something. An aborigines or something like that. It's always like some straight here people that these things appear in front of. No urban, no brown skin people. It's just like they know who they want to show themselves. I don't know. Now, man going to sit back and say, because of this. Well, look at this. They ain't supposed to think like that. You know why? Because they ghost. And they're aliens. So how do you think they're like you? If that's the case, then why do you... I understand man say, you know the reason why? Because this and this and this. I'll be a smart ass and rude. Whatever. Racist. Whatever. Okay, that's fine. But is that the reason why? How will an alien know everything that the man said, that these guys said? How would an alien know that? How would a ghost know? How would a demon know? Not only, I mean, if that's the case, they thinking like a man. <clears throat> they thinking like men. But here's the guy. Here's the guy that had. <clears throat> I couldn't get this footage. But listen to him. Just check him out. Check him out. Well, when I was 17, I lost my virginity to a female extraterrestrial. Um. That's all I can say about it. Now, that's how the documentary comes on. He said casual. He says it casual like it ain't shit. His name is David Huggins. He's 74 years old. He says it just as casual. You know? Could you imagine a, a, a Indian or urban person? Yeah, when I was 17, I don't know, the white man probably shoot him. White man probably put a gun and shoot his ass. I swear to God, white man probably shoot his ass. Yeah, when I was 17, uh, my man, I was in a house and shit, and I lost my virginity. So it's like, dude, that's like. That's like Dr. Seuss me Santa Claus. That shit, that shit looks so far. But you see what the point I'm trying to make? I ain't trying to be a... So I'm just saying, dude. I'm just saying. What about... Now, this guy is an old... He looks like an old white man. He does. What if the guy was an old black man? He was like, yeah, when I was... Uh, when I was 17, I lost my virginity. The white man, white man, shoot his ass. I don't want that shit walking around my country. I don't want that shit walking down the street in my country. White man wouldn't go for that shit. Black, black people wouldn't go for it. They'll whoop his ass. They'll probably find him and say, nigga, if you don't stop talking that shit, dude, they'll probably kick the living shit out of him. Do the aliens know that? That's why they don't do it? The aliens know all of that. I just said, that's why the aliens say, like, E.T. and the alien words, we can't fuck with the brown skinned people because. They will act like that. We have to be careful of the brown skinned people. So they won't act like that. That's what they think and what they say. Is that it? Dude, think about it. Think about it. Think about it. If you go to Earth, if you go to another planet, the main people run, that runs that main planet you go to. Now listen. If you go to another planet, and the main people that run that planet is green, green, then you see yellow people on that planet that look different, but they still act like the, the green people, the yellow people, the, whatever, the main people. Uh, who would you go experiment on? Think about it. Think about it. <gasps> You go to a main planet, the main people are green. Then you notice these yellow people acting different than the green people, but they still trying to catch up and try to do the best they can. And they look different. They look, almost look like animals, like monkeys, like 
animals like you. Now, you're a stranger on the earth and nobody see you. Who you want to um, look at to find out why they look like that, what they ways and stuff? Who would you look at? All right, then. So how, the, my question is, why they always want to light skin straight here, people? I understand it. It's like that we're going to get that. What is that, Afro-American or, or Aborigines or Chinese, Japanese? Why do they look different than the main people running? The, we have to follow. You'll get more information from that motherfucker. Than, you know what I'm saying? Just saying. Just saying. And neither one group, the alien or the demons, fuck with the urban. They don't believe really, no, they go. They all go for light skin, straight hair people, all of them, and fuck the rest. It's like they, they race is like light skin, straight hair people. It's like they think I like. I'm not saying it's like they think I like. Ain't that Doctor Seuss shit? I mean, kind of. It's kind of Doctor Seuss is a little bit. Kind of Doctor Seuss vibe. Cat in the hat type shit. This is different. Well, when I was 17, I lost my virginity to a female extraterrestrial. Um, that's all I can say about it. And you believe it because he looks white. And you'll believe that shit. And you start getting skin. You mean, uh, why would an urban get skin? That's another fucking thing. There's so many factors with this. Why would a minority get scared when they don't get fucked with? When they, when these guys, the, the demons and the UFO, don't even fuck with them? Why would they? Get, they watch that um Leprechaun in the Hood. Remember that movie Leprechaun in the Hood? You really believe that shit? You really think a Leprechaun will go in the Hood? <sighs> man, you guys, man. Why would an urban person get scared of a horror movie? They ain't gonna fuck with them. They want the light skin say it, people. Because they smart and they got real emotions and shit like that. And you can have fun. Serial killers have fun with them. Because they got real emotions and shit. You want to hear, ah, you want to hear, uh, uh. There's a difference than a person screaming. You don't hear no regular person. You want to hear a regular person go, ah, ah. You don't want to hear no thug. No thug or, or urban person go, uh, 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 uh. You don't want to hear that shit, dude. You want to hear a person. A person go, ah! And that's the reason why serial killers don't go. A double pleasure is waiting for you. A double pleasure from double mystery. Double pleasure is waiting for you. A double great feeling. Making you realize double is the one for you. Double fresh. Double smooth. Hey Gus, you special enough to skate with us? I'm an all-star skater. There's nobody greater. I score every game, but being a pepper is my fame. Alright! We're two! I'm a pepper, he's a pepper, we're a pepper, she's a pepper. Would you like to be a pepper too? Us peppers are an interesting breed An original taste is what we need Ask any pepper and they'll say Only Dr. Pepper came that way I'm a pepper, she's a pepper, we're a pepper, she's a pepper It's alright to be dynamite, but to be a pepper is out of sight Would you like to be a pepper too? We're a pepper, he's a pepper yeah, but I'm a pepper too. I'm a pepper too. If you drink Dr. Pepper, you're a pepper too. Be a pepper, train Dr. Pepper. Be a pepper, train Dr. Pepper. Be a pepper, train Dr. Pepper. Be a pepper. If you didn't buy your clothes in Crash Brothers, you got bad news. Oh, 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 Nine oh one South Street, two of the stars. You want to hear a person? A person go ah. And that's the reason why serial killers don't go at the, um, that fucking shit. You don't know, uh, uh, all up in your fucking face, dude. When you think you're a mastermind killing people. Who want to hear a big lip, uh, in their fucking face? Oh, uh, dude, you shit. That's why you'll never fucking see it, dude. Ball to wall to wall, wall to wall sound and video.
yourself. It's wall-to-wall -wall sound and videos. Everything's on sale sale. Celebrating our 26th anniversary. You'll save on the purchases of TVs, VCRs, CD players, records, tapes, and CDs. Everything. And you may be the lucky winner of this 1988 Dodge Daytona. Our 26th anniversary is really something. In fact, it's everything. If they're pulled in, I'll stop laughing. If they're pulled the guy's demon come to the TV set of a black little girl, could you imagine a pulled the guy's face and a black little girl say, Mommy! Mommy! What is it? What you want? Mom, it's a TV set. I s oh! Now, this is the poltergeist demon in the TV set looking at this shit. A black little girl going, Oh! I saw something! I saw something! And this, look at the... Now, this is a poltergeist face looking serious, looking at this shit. Maybe that's the reason why. I'm not being a smart ass, dude. I'm just saying. I'm not being a smart ass. I'm just saying. Dude. Just saying. See, only white people good with this. Only these Jewish people, like, they good with this stuff. They good with this stuff. They can get people to believe anything. They can pe get people to believe they shit is chocolate. A great new LP, 20 original hits, original stars, KC and the Sunshine Band. Silver Convention. War. Leon Haywood. Average White Band. Alice Cooper, Edgar Wintergroup, Sammy Johns, David Loggins, Gladys Knight, Frankie Valley, and many more. David Getty. The, last game of the, season. the Holly. All I need is the air that I Jigsaw. All sky high. Blockbuster. 20 original hits, original stars. Be sure to get the best from K Town. LP $5.99, tape $6.99. I have a part part time job working at a deli and then I come home in the paint. Would you like some coffee? I do uh, meditation occasionally, just to calm myself down. Oh. Okay, already turn him already. I see him making that noise. He meditating. That's how he making noise. Go oh like that. And the aliens kid was fucking him when he was a child. There was pedophile aliens. He was seven. He was sixteen, right? Right. There's some age. You see, the dick was rock hard and all that shit. Go into detail about every fucking thing. I said, I gotta. I said, I want to talk about this guy. So, you see, the dick was rock hard and everything, dude. And I said, I gotta, I gotta talk about it. And I couldn't get the footage, man. So they blocked it. They blocked that shit. They said, you ain't getting that. They said, you ain't getting that. I know y'all motherfuckers want that. Y'all ain't getting that. Fucking assholes. Just give me honest work at honest pay. Honest sweat from honest play. And when I'm through, that's when I'll say. I want my clean as real as I breathe. It's got to be 99.44. I want my clean as real as I breathe. Nothing less, nothing more. If you're looking for the real clean you can only get from a pure soap, you want ivory. It's got to be pure, that's for sure. I want my clean as real as I breathe. I ain't getting that. And they meant that shit. That's why they blocked it. But the point of man is, you never see aliens or demons going after urban Puerto Ricans and stuff like that. They always going after light skinned, straight haired people. They look white.
Then I was gonna um <laughs> I was gonna do a documentary, I was gonna talk about this movie I saw called Ghost World. That's G H O S T W O R L D Ghost World. And it's the this and the the um What do you call it? It says the lives of two best friends take different directions as they graduate from high school. It, it stars a young Scarlett Johnson. Guys, it was really good. And Lena Douglas and Scarlett Johnson are the stars of it. And they got um, Bob Baladin, Balaban. You know that guy. It was written by Dan Claus, and it was really good. It was really, really good, guys. It's kind of like that kind of that um, Ella Fanning movie I talked about. It's not a, like a chick flick, but it was really interesting. You got to check out Ghost World. You got to check that out. A young Scarlett Johnson. You gotta check that out, man. This is it's really a trip. It's 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 good. It's one of them strange movies. I don't know one of them Rashid movies. But you gotta check it out. Getting back to the fact why ghosts and demons and UFOs don't appear on niggas is because they don't play that shit. Obviously, they don't play that shit. And they think like light skin straight here people for some reason. Of all the people on the planet Earth, ghosts and aliens think like light skin straight here people. So if you're an urban person listening to this, don't expect to see no ghost or demon because they're not going to appear in front of you or UFOs because you're not their type of person. They want to deal with somebody who go, ah, or no, or they, or like that that um fucking shit um. I think it was trolls. I think that was trolls. He's like, oh my god. They want to deal with stuff like that. They don't want to hear no, oh, oh, ooh, ooh. They don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear that shit. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear that kind of bass in a voice thing. And that's the reason why they don't appear in front of urban people. That's the reason why. Don't get offended. Don't get upset. Take it like a man, but take it. And let the light skin straight hair people keep getting abducted and getting pulled up the ass and all the fun. And don't get up. Stop hating because of it, urban people. Stop hating. At least you got suffering. And that is something better than nothing. As far as the demons are concerned, anyway. They said we, we got kicked out of heaven. You know, God kicked us out. So we be damned if we fuck with some Negroes, dude. That's probably the way they think. I don't fucking know the reason why. I don't know. But you would never hear no urban person up there and thought some I or no Chinese person, I saw the UFO and was abducted. And uh I am Japanese from Tokyo. And I very scared. I very scared. And the UFO uh it asked me questions about people on earth. He asked me what do people do and asked me uh, what do people live and, and, and the shit like that, you never, you never see nothing. They always light skin straight here, people. They always people that look white. I guess these aliens and everybody know that they know shit. I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. I'm not Steven fucking Spielberg. I, I really couldn't tell you, but that's the deal. And don't hate because of that. And I just thought I wanted to bring that to the table here. Probably. 
while we talking, I, I thought maybe it would be fun to talk about that a little bit. Because that's some ironic ass shit. That's just ironic. They always showing themselves and preparing themselves to uh, people that look white for some reason. For some strange reason. Freddy Krueger, yeah, Freddy Krueger's odd and caught and kill like one of the motherfuckers. I know you're not talking to me, Rocky, because I ought to kill like just two of the motherfuckers. I'm not killing a fucking nigger. <laughs> That's why that police officer did what he fucking did. I'm not killing no Afro American. You out of your fucking mind? But you still kill. But you still kill one of them. It was just fucking one. <laughs> one. <laughs> one in every fucking movie. You add them up. There's like five or six of them. It doesn't matter. That's politics bullshit. <laughs> I'm pretty fucking cool. I ain't fucking with the motherfuckers. So why you always fuck with life to stray in here? All right, see, don't start that stupid ass shit. You know the reason why I don't know no fuck. Yes, you don't want the fucker. <laughs> yes, you do want the fucker. I don't, I don't know the... Then ask your fucking dick! <laughs> <laughs> I bet you your fucking dick know the reason why, motherfucker! Talk about that white woman ass and kill your motherfucker! <laughs> That's personal. My ass is personal! So I just thought I'd talk about that. Find out why we always go for life to stay here, people. You know the reason why. But they understand. <laughs> If you kill one of them, they'd be marching over. Yeah, they'd probably be marching down the street if I killed a lot of them motherfuckers. <laughs> then it's injustice. Freddy Krueger killing all the black people. Freddy Krueger is killing all the black people. Here we go with this bullshit. The white man against jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. You know about Poltergeist? I don't know about no fucking Poltergeist. She took Christina. He's like, God is in. Oh, I don't know that shit. His holy temple. Watch it. I don't know about that shit. That's Jew. He's just not Jewish. This is a Poltergeist. This is a fucking old man. He's like, God is in. His I don't know about that shit. Okay. Right. I don't know about that shit. Okay. Okay. Fucking bullshit. I don't know what they got is it. God! God is in. It's a God! Well, Satan too. Satan! Satan! Well, wow, it's just. That's what they need to fix. Satan! I'm Freddy Krueger with Satan! Well, Satan is. Uh, Satan! Satan! Satan the devil. They just Satan, Satan the devil. Satan the devil! What's a devil? A devil is somebody that is sneaky, get away with things, give me manslayer and all of that. That's another time for it. 
or some man to find it. Yeah, man to find it. Or then it ain't no fucking Satan that's telling it. Well, uh, and man to find it, you kiss my ass. Okay, well, well, I don't know. I, I just live here. I don't make the rules. Well, oh, there you go. <laughs> they always show they stuff. They always show they stuff. Out of their fucking minds. Out of that. Out of their fucking minds. I see horse nest right here. Who is that? Hey, Foggy, how you doing? Who is this right here? Who is this? That's Freddy Krueger, man. Who? Freddy Krueger. Who is Freddy Krueger? Where's the frog at? He's still in isolation. He said he wanna. He don't want to catch. Oh, that's boss. Don't start this shit. He said because your dog fucking. Okay, all right. Me, all right. That's enough of that. That's enough. Who the fuck is this bird? What the hell is this? This is, um, this is, wait a minute. What's wrong with your face? Who is this? I'm gonna stay out of it. I don't even give a fuck. What's wrong with your face? I'm gonna stay out of it. I ain't even gonna say shit. I ain't even gonna say it. I ain't even gonna say it. I see you look at his face. I, I saw his face. I already know how he looks. It's Freddy Krueger. Who is Freddy Krueger? The guy who goes into your dreams and get you. When he go in, is it when he go into your dreams to get you? I don't understand that. What do you mean when I go into my dream? Ask him. Look at his face. Why is he staring at me like that? He's wondering who you are. Maybe you should introduce yourself. To that? Yeah, they know to that. I tell you, who the fuck is this piece of shit? Oh, this is, uh, this is, uh, this is one of the Muppets. A Muppet? What the fuck is a Muppet? Um, a Muppet is like, you know, like guy Jim Henson? Oh, you mean the Jew that got killed, the Jew that's dead? Yeah, yeah. Did he just say what I thought he just said? Yeah, he just said the Jew that's dead. He said that Judas did. That's what he said. Ah, so he wants an ass whooping. I thought if you could do the what? I thought if you could do that. You motherfucker! Now, first of all, you don't want to come into my dreams, motherfucker. I don't? Nah. Mm -mm. That'll be a big fucking mistake. Oh, yeah? It's a fact, motherfucker. Okay, all right. Okay. It's a fact. You wouldn't want to come into my dreams. Why not? Just trust me on that. Right, see, I'm about to slice this furry motherfucker out. I'm a bear. What? I'm a bear. You ain't gonna do a fucking thing to me. <laughs> Oh boy, here we go. Or oh, that a fact, motherfucker? Ah, oh, that's a, a a highly classified fact. I'm a bear. I'm Freddy Krueger. I'm a bear. I'm Freddy Krueger. I guess that settles that. Man. I guess that. I guess that ramps up. I'm Freddy Krueger. I guess that ramps up shit. I say don't no wrap up a fucking thing. I'm a bear, and you're a, a chopped up person. Chopped up! Why you call him chopped? Look at his face. He's chopped up. Chopped up! I'll be seeing you in your sleep. I doubt that, buddy boy. I see. Take care of yourself. See you later, friend. I doubt that asshole, buddy chopped up person. Chopped up! I'm gonna show you chopped up! I doubt that chopped up person. I'm gonna show you chopped up! Let him go, man. Alright, see what the fuck is wrong with this motherfucker? Gonna come in here and talk this shit. 
You can't even see. He don't even have a face. I know. I know. He doesn't have a face. Yeah. Yeah. Over shoulders, motherfucker. Chop, chop. He doesn't have a face. Don't worry about it. Just let the fucking thing go. Where we go? Call him Chop Suey. <laughs> Oh, by the way, yeah, I know the answer to why demons and ghosts don't show themselves to Negroes and Chinese and everybody else does not white or look white. I know the answer. Oh, really now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what is it? You really want to know? Yeah, I want to know. You really want to know? Yeah, I want to know. Because they don't know who they are. So they know white people and people that look white or people that look Jewish or whatever. They know them more than, yeah. How? Because they've been watching. Oh, uh, it don't make sense, you right? That don't even make sense. They've been watching. No, no, no. No, no, that's not the reason why. It's because it's uh, bullshit. It's not bullshit. Don't say that. You want Hollywood to collapse? <laughs> it probably is an all time mystery, kind of like that. Uh, how many licks does it take? to get to the center of a tissue wall of a tissue pop. The world may never know. Maybe you're right, Rashi. The world may never know why they come to only light skin straight hair people. I'm not light skin straight hair people. I know. I know. I'm not light skin straight hair people. I know you're not. I know you're not. I'm brown and I'm a bear. I know. Only one bitch about the young, only one bitch about the colors, Kermit the Frog. He says it's not easy being green. Talking about his, his fucking skin color like that. He's a fucking eye guy. I told him I don't like that. He's the only one that bitched about his color on Sesame Street. Yeah. That's like an African hymn. The only difference is that he's a frog. Not all African hymns. All African hymns, they say, oh, I don't like being black. Kermit the Frog got, I don't like being green. That's a green African hymn. Okay, all right. If you say so, I know so. I know so. All right. He don't like being green. That's ridiculous. I told him that. I never liked the song. I told him that. I never liked the song. I thought the song was... I just never liked it. As a child, I always skipped over with my needle and my record player. I just went to the next... Yeah. I, I don't know. I never liked that. I like the Rainbow Connection, though. Everybody likes Rainbow Connection. Everybody likes that. It's that I don't like being green. I hate that. I don't like this song. I just, it ain't got... I just don't like it. I don't like it. A stupid Jewish song. How is it a Jewish song? Because of Hanson. Oh. Hanson. Oh. Okay. Well, I didn't think about that either. Oh, geez, you got to think. Okay, I'm trying. It ain't easy nowadays. Ah, I, I, can, I know because of the virus and everything like that. I don't know. I'm talking about, I'm talking about the virus. I'm talking about the virus. But they're rioting. I'm talking about the virus. I'm not talking about that virus. That virus. That whatever it is. Riots. Riots. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the disease. Just wiping out mankind. That's what I'm talking about. Well, why are you not talking about the virus? The virus? Because I don't want to talk about that. 
That's why. Well, that's important. That's a, a no, it's not. If it's important to the white man, it's important to everyone. That's why I want to watch it. I know that. That's why I want to look at it. Ah. See, that's why I like you, Rashi. Because you have a brain on your own. Right, right? Motherfucker, right? You and all your people. That's right, babe. Yeah, yeah. That's why I like coming around here. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, here comes. He gonna chop suey again. Leave him alone. Don't start him off. Fred, you came back? Yeah, I came back. It's fucking daylight. Can't kill no fucking body. Everybody walking around. Don't they know it's a disease? Yeah, this is, but they don't care. They don't care. Hey, chop suey. Are you talking to me, you fucking furball? Hey, chop suey. Why do... Why is it... Um... What was we talking about? No, we weren't talking about nothing specific. A fucking stuffed bear talking to me! I'm not a stuffed bear. He's not a stuffed bear. He's just, uh... He's a stuffed bear! He ain't a stuffed bear, dude. He's just, uh... What happened to your face? That's a long story. Rashid know what happened to my face. <laughs> Ain't that right, Rashid? He know what happened. I, I know, yeah. Yeah, I know. Rashid know what happened to his face. He was going after little girls in his neighborhood until the adults got together and burnt them in his house. Ah! Oh! 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 Why are you saying it like that? I'm just saying I understand why he's coming. Well, whoa, no, whoa. Okay. All right. Well, let's get into that. Let's get into that. What's wrong? Nothing. Uh-oh. I see your mother. I need shit happening here. Thanks, you guys, for tuning in. Ah! Thanks, guys, for tuning in to coming on my, um, for another picture up on RVT. <laughs> Maybe I'll do this again. Ah! Maybe I'll do <laughs> Maybe I'll do this again tomorrow. I'll see you guys later. <laughs>